Hi everyone, this is a quick video, or a quick long video, on how to um, organise an electronic certificate or digital certificate, Ceres, um, in Spain. And that'll also allow you, once you have your digital certificate, to apply for a social security number. Why would you do this? Because you wouldn't have a TIE yet, uh, and this is one of the ways, one of the only ways that you can get a social security number without having a TIE yet, obviously, because that um, can take a bit of time. So we are on the Treasury website of Spain, or the Real Casa de la Moneda, uh, and we want to go into series, or Ceres, and we want to get a certificate. Now, we're a physical person, we're not an institution or anything, so we can go into there. There's about four steps to it, one, two, three, four. Um, gosh, no real uh, need to do it, but the first thing is um, to actually download the the, um, the configurator um, of it. Um, I highly recommend like converting it the configurator. You can click on that, download relevant to your computer. If you do it on a Mac OS, uh, make sure you go through that this and read this. So system preferences, security and privacy and open it because it won't it won't install automatically. You'll have to do this and then go back to the installation and then double click on it um, again. Uh, but anyway, that was that. Once you've got that, you're pretty much able to go into your next step, which is to organise your certificate. So on this page, you just need to put in your document ID, which is your NIE, um, your last name, and your email, once you do that. Um, click this, because this is, if you try and do it without clicking this, it won't let you. And you must tick this box. Um, and then you click um, submit. Obviously, you have to put in your details. Now, when you do that, you should receive an email. And that email will come with a code, which you need to get verified. Essentially, this is this helps with your verification. So, once you have that email, the next step is to prove your identity. So, the original web page here um, has information. Quickly converting it, um, you want make sure you have the email. And then uh, you'll need to remember to have these documents with you. Um, so the request code has been sent to your email account, which we do have, uh, and then the foreign identification card containing the NIE along with the passport, or or official NIE grant document along with the passport. So if your visa has a uh, sorry, if your passport has a Spanish visa in it, um, it will contain the NIE in the visa. Um, so uh, it's, it's quite small, um, it's easy to miss, so just be wary that they might need help. Uh, you might need to point it out to them in terms of finding that NIE number. And then where can you prove your identity? Well, um, it's not actually administered uh, specifically by a specific branch of government or a specific um, unit. You can go to the office locator uh, and the type of certificate that we need is a for a physical person and you can go around and, and you know uh, looking at some examples in in Barcelona um, there there appears to be many um, but I you know uh, INSS is um, Institute National uh, Social Security TGS is, is similar SS um, so some of these are, are pretty um, they're quite niche um, and there's many different ways to um, get an appointment. One of the ways that we can uh, organize an appointment is online. You could also call, um, so <laughs> choose which one is easier for you. Um, but yeah, uh, so if you want to go with the option of, of doing it online, um, you know, I'd recommend if you have a really good friend or, or somebody that you can <laughs> talk on the phone, it might be quicker to do it this way. Um, but if you want to do it through online, uh, again, we, we know that the Social Security Office will, will validate the paperwork for it. Um, so we've got uh, the you know, Social Security website here, but you want to go to the electronic office. Uh, and then the electronic office here will then allow you to do a lot more. So if I go under citizens and then uh, now certificates is, is, that's a bit misleading, but prior appointment for benefits and other procedures. So this is being an other procedure. Um, we need to make an appointment for 
other things. Now, obviously we could do it with an electronic certificate, which we don't have, this is what we're trying to do. A username or password if you're already registered for it, or no certificate, I'm choose a no certificate option. Now, um, I'm gonna just use uh, some pre-filled information that I did here. I'm going to, yeah, I'll probably delete after this. Um, you'll get few, a few options here. Uh, and depending on how busy it is, you may or may not see any options when you get to the next page. This is obviously the nearest one closest to you. This is um, anything, the first one available in the area. Or you can do, I think, uh, let, me, let me do a quick, Google Translate, a specific day and time, which I don't recommend. Um, I, I would just, you know, knowing how things go, um, that's probably your best option. And then you just gotta answer this thing. Go to the next page and click Certificate Digital or Clave Permanente. We obviously want the digital certificate and we continue. So this page means um, there's no available um, things, there's no available appointments. Now again, this is all Barcelona wide. Um, I don't know how far ahead, but again, if you um, just keep clicking that, you might, um, I've heard it's taken up to a few hours of doing this. So it's almost like waiting for grand final tickets. You'll probably manage to get an appointment after trying. So again, I've heard various reports um, anywhere between you know I got mine probably within half an hour of constant refreshing um, other people have sat in front of their computers um, for a bit of time but you will get a confirmation page so I was doing this on my phone and and, um, and the picture here um, you do get a confirmation number um, which office you do get um, and now you'll be able to choose what's available so if there's a lot available you get to choose if not I only got this one option and uh, I um, I just took it because it was the first one available um, and it gives you um, a date and a time so uh, remember these details I of course screenshotted mine um, and you'll also get a confirmation email so um, that confirmation email also just repeats um, that code there um, location and um, time and place now make sure you you are aware about which venue it is um, so obviously I've, I've already done it but this was the INSS um, Institute National um, Social Security um, funnily enough I was um, I went there and uh, when I went there um, I actually went to the wrong building I went to the wrong government institution um, so thankfully it was around the corner so don't make the mistake of doing that I'd recommend getting there early um, and of course, if you've got the advantage, um, take a, a Spanish speaker with you. It just makes things a bit easier. If not, um, I, I, you know, I kind of got away with a very minimal level of, of understanding Spanish. So um, do that. I had to register with security, um, and they were asking, "Do you have a, an appointment?" And I said, "Yes, I did." Um, and they wanted to confirm my NIE, so I showed them my visa with the NIE number. Um, and the uh, confirmation. Um, I, I, you know, I like travelling with paper, although I know it's terrible for the environment. Um, but if you have an iPad, you can show them the email that you've received um, with that code, time and place, as well as um, the confirmation email, obviously, that you need to show. Um, you may end up having to go inside and wait, um, and then once you do that, you go over and uh, yeah, they do the, the verification process. Shortly after your appointment, um, and um, assuming they've confirmed your or verified your identity, you will receive an email um, with your um, digital certificate. Um, so it just appears um, as a regular email. Uh, when you click on the link, um, just follow the prompts and then you'll actually download a file. Now that file is a digital certificate, don't lose it. You could potentially email it to yourself or store it in the cloud, but somewhere secure that nobody else can take uh, from you. Um, and then uh, because you already have the uh, app installed, um, when you double click on it, the um, the app should automatically appear, the configurator app, so um, you can do that. So with that certificate, you can then uh, do all your online transactions, um, including the social security website. So we're back on that social security website again, uh, making sure it's the electronic um, version or electronic campus of 
social security website, citizens, and then we can go to affiliation and register. Uh, and then we can go to assignment of social security number. Now, um, uh, this assumes that you've already um, correctly installed the certificate, but click on electronic certificate. Um, it'll go through an authentication process where the app will um, pop up and you'll need to just put in the password that you did to open that specific app up and it should automatically process and then afterwards uh, you'll receive um, confirmation on the web page so you can I recommend taking a screenshot of it you can always delete it later and uh, it'll also generate a formal PDF. And there you go, that is how you get a social security number using the digital certificate. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you've got anything, um, any questions, um, I know this is correct at the time here in March, April um, of 2021. Um, but yeah, appointments tend to be the, I think the, the hardest part with, with a lot of Spanish administration. Um, so yeah, good luck. Um, leave any comments and, and um, yeah, perhaps other people might be able to answer your question as well. Um, but of course, yes, uh, the only way to get through it is to do it. So good luck, everyone.